Welcome to a new series of short videos we're calling What's Inside. In these videos, we'll be exploring areas that we don't usually get to see on a normal basis. For this very special first episode, we're going to get an inside look at the part of the church that everyone can see, the steeple. Historically, not much is known about steeples, when they started appearing, who designed the first steeple, etc. Some think the addition of the steeples to the church was to visually direct the onlookers' eyes to the heavens. Given the height of steeples, they were also probably used to be a visual landmark for people to find church from any part of town. Now, during the Middle Ages, bells began to be housed within steeples. These church bells served as a communication device to signify the time of the church service, some holidays, but also to warn of fires or approaching armies. Now, most of you may know that our steeple chimes with music after services, at noontime, or at other special times of the year. Are there bells inside our steeple? Well, let's go inside and check it out. Inside our church building, there are two entrances into the attic space. One entrance is in the storage room behind the secondary AV room, which is directly behind the worship center. The other entrance, and the entrance we'll be using, is in the baptistry. Now let's pause for a second. This is Tim Jordan, our facilities manager. In the few short months that he's been here, he already knows more about the inside of the church building than those of us who have been here for years. So we'll be consulting with him again in future episodes, to be sure. Now once we're up inside the attic space, you'll hopefully be as blown away as I was the first time I came up here. The sheer expansiveness of the attic alone is amazing, but add in it the maze of walkways and it doesn't even feel like the same building. Walking around up here makes you feel like you're included in a very important secret. Housed up in the attic are the projectors, lights, and the cables for the suspended lighting trusses and, of course, the entrance into the steeple. And when I first climbed the ladder into the steeple, I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't think it would be quite like what I found. Here we are in the main part of the steeple, and from this platform you can see that there are two more ladders. One ladder goes down to a lower level, which is actually the ceiling of the grand foyer. The metal box is the mechanism that lowers and raises the grand foyer chandelier. The other ladder, which is as terrifying as it looks, goes up into the steeple spire. I guess I should have already mentioned that I have a very real fear of heights. I have to be honest with you. Once I got a look at the ladder to the spire, I didn't want to climb it at all. But here we are. We're getting to see some really cool things. You can see to the left a long hanging cable. That is not the rope used to ring the bells, if that's what you were thinking it was. Although Tim does tell people that he has to come ring the bells. This cable is actually essentially our lightning rod. You can see that we finally discovered what makes the musical bell chimes in the steeple, though I'm sure a lot of you already knew. These two giant speakers and the two on the other side are connected to a digital bell device in the storage room behind the worship center. To get to the spire, we have to squeeze through a pretty small opening. Knowing you're almost at the highest point of the church building is an interesting feeling. Looking up, we can see that the spire is actually a giant fiberglass shell. Here you can see the lightning rod cable going up into the spire. And the few boards up there, and I'm assuming here, are there if someone needs to get into the extreme point of the spire. And before you ask, no, I won't be doing that. Maybe Tim will.
Climbing back down this crazy suspended ladder to the steeple is undoubtedly the best part of this adventure. Well, there you have it. We've traveled inside the steeple and discovered its secrets. Hopefully we'll have more episodes coming about other little known areas within the church building so we can see what's inside. <laughs>